What's going on YouTube? We're back today with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And we're week two today going for hopefully our second straight win. Tough game today. Let's get into it. We start off the ball unfortunately and my blocking absolutely sucked this game. Right there, DY. For some reason goes inside, outside, easy. Uh, blocks inside, there was no one there to block. I don't know why he went inside. So, uh, then we do a nice run, uh, pass play there to Gronk. Now we run to Lynch. Don't get anything on that. Second and nine now. Scrambling with uh, Cam. Find Megatron open. And we get to the 46. Good pick up there. Now second and ten at the 45. We go back to the wire trail. Hit Gronk over the middle and get the first down. They spot that right. Yeah. Now try a triple option. And I don't know what he was doing on defense. There. He was diving all over the place, and we end up getting into the end zone. Taking a 7 nothing lead, so great uh, job by our offense right here. I don't know what my QB contains are doing. I don't know how he gets to the outside like that. I call QB contains every time I see a fast quarterback, but for some reason, they just don't do anything. Once again, J.J. Watt stays there, and he's able to roll out. And how is Michael Vick able to throw against going uh, the other way as a left-handed quarterback. How does he make that throw that accurate? I don't know. His uh, golden ticket can't do that. His ultimate legend can't do that, but this is like the seasoned veterans one, his 87 overall version. I don't know how he makes that throw, but he does. And this guy has Trey Mason, and he was bouncing off tackles all game long. <laughs> like right there. Troy Palmalu comes in. Looks like he uh, has him wrapped up. Bounces right off him. Finally, we uh, bring him down on first and goal with Kerrigan. Second and goal does it again. And I think that was big Vince Wilfork that made the stop. Third and goal goes over the middle and scores. Fortunately, I got stuck on the D-line, and that's my fault. Shouldn't have been put in that situation. And then his QB contains decide to be QB containy. Contain me. Unlike his. Unlike mine. His does stuff. That's important. It happens all the time in Madden, man. It happens. It's so inconsistent to QB contains this this year. They've been inconsistent. It's like every time you call a QB contain, I want them to contain. I don't want them running outside the pocket whatsoever. I don't know what, why mine do it and most people's minds uh, can't contain. Right there. I don't know how he got a block shed. His uh, D-line wasn't that good. They were mostly 90s. All right there, that was just a bad read. Uh, I thought I could throw it over his head. Fortunately, didn't put enough on it to get over his head or out of bounds. So we end up throwing the pick there. And he still has enough time to go down the field and score a field goal or a touchdown for halftime. He has all three timeouts and with 30-some seconds left. It's plenty of time. Right there, QB Contain actually does something. But in the very next play, doesn't do anything. It's frustrating. You call their eight plays, but they don't do anything. I don't, I don't get that, man. Zones are so dumb. First and ten, runs up the middle. Trey Mason ends up kicking a field goal before halftime and gets ball, so that kills us both ways. One on one coverage, he just throws it up. And somehow he beats D'Angelo Hall. I don't know how he makes that catch. I don't know. I don't know. Second and ten, he dumps off to Trey Mason. He gets about seven. So that brings or six. So that brings up third and four. Runs up the middle. Doesn't get the first down. Fourth and one goes for it again. This time we get a block shed and JJ Watt comes in and makes a stop. Uh, just, it's just a frustrating game, Madden. It's just a frustrating game this year. I hope it's a whole lot different next year. Blocking. Uh, QB contains if they if you call contain I want them to contain not just uh, try it and then we try to throw it up and Megatron just goes dumb and doesn't want to catch it's frustrating it's frustrating when your opponent can do stuff that you think you can do but you guys just don't play it right right there that's just a bad read I shouldn't have thrown that ball I should have thrown it to Gronk but I stared him down that's just my fault trying to force something being getting upset about uh my my players not playing right as usual, so first down we stop him. All right, so that brings up second and nine. Runs with Trey Mason again up the middle and gets about five six yards. Second and three, we get a nice uh 
run stop there, and he ends up kicking another field goal to go up by six. Now we need a long drive, get a touchdown, and hopefully take the rest of this clock away. Third and three here, we I was smashing X, and we couldn't do anything. Now I'm smashing R1 right there. Can't get it off, so we get sacked and turn the ball over. It's just... It's unfortunate. Right there, what is D'Angelo Hall doing? One-on-one -on -one coverage and can't. 97 overall versus 91 overall wide receiver. Can't make the play. Third and goal. Get, tries a little dump-off pass. The palm is there. Swat that away. And he ends up kicking another field goal. And that's really going to do it. We don't have enough time and timeouts. My offense has been like crap. So if we don't get a lot of things going our way here, we're probably going to lose this game with a minute 15 left. Being down by nine, so first and ten, we're looking and get sacked. I don't know. I don't know. I pay all these coins for these good offensive the linemen. They don't feel. I don't think they do a damn thing. Now fourth and sixteen. Need a touchdown. He won't need a first down, but we end up going deep to Deshaun Jackson. He is wide open. I don't know how he got so wide open, but he is, and we end up scoring. And we make this a two-point game, so all we need is a field goal, we win. But here comes the onside kick, and that does it. We only have two timeouts, three knees in the game. If you do your math, and we end up losing. Tough game. Tough game. QB contains him, play right. And that's about it. Defense just didn't play well. Corners, D'Angelo Hall got burnt on that one play. I don't know how. With uh, all that speed, I think it has like 98 speed. So I don't think any of his wide his wide outs were like 91, 92. So I don't, no one had that type of speed could burn him. But he did. That's what happens. It's mad. It's whatever. It's a game. Let's go on. Let's move on to the next one. Next time, hopefully we can win that. And I'm out. Till then, like, subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter. And as always, do work.